international news because this story here has a lot of people saying, uh, Harry, Ginger, honey, mm. please stop talking. <laughs> and others are saying, speak your truth, mm. right? Prince Harry, for 38 years, have been, has been having his story told by so many different people with intentional spin and distortion. He's now coming out to say that he decided to publish his memoirs to defend himself against the years of tabloid spin as Blit British television aired his first interview on the book's explosive revelations. As you know, Spare has had a lot of controversy since it came out. Mm. The Duke of Sussex um, has decided to launch it. And of course, today, some of the contents have been leaked and it is mistakenly on sale in Spain. Whoa. It happens everywhere. Anyway, the fallout from the book's revelations has cast doubt on Harry's future in the royal family. This is where now they toss him away forever because the book includes a claim that his brother, Prince William, the heir to the throne, physically attacked him as they rowed about um, his wife, Meghan. It also gives an account of how he lost his virginity an administration, uh, an admission, pardon me, on drug use, and a claim that he killed 25 people while serving in Afghanistan with the uh, British Army. The, the, the This is a lot. Mm -hmm. And some people are saying, well, how much is too much when you're doing a memoir? Yeah. <laughs> and do you need to, you know, say all these things? Mm. He says, well, I need to do it. For my own sake. I need to do it because for 38 years, my life from the moment he was born, has been carefully crafted in PR. And there's a narrative around mm. him. In the 90s, he was the bad boy yeah. of the two sons. He's like, look, I am tired of the spin and yeah. the distortion. But that machine called the British media, Sheesh. I don't know if he's going to manage uh, to get to wherever he's trying to get mm. because that kind of closure fuels more content for them. Yeah. It's like an ever, never ending a cycle. So.